Let's talk about fluids. Oh, not the body fluids like blood or urine, although those are interesting too. Let's talk first about the most common fluid of all, which is uh, water. Now, what is a fluid? It's a state of matter in which the molecules can slide past each other very easily so that the substance takes on the shape of whatever container it is poured into. Water, typical example of a fluid. Now, if you dissolve something in the water, like large molecules, polymers, that of course will change the viscosity of the fluid, but this is still a fluid. It flows and it will take on the shape of the container. Pretty interesting fluid, isn't it? And it will go right back into the container. There we go. A fluid. Now, talking about fluids, you have probably spent time at the dinner table banging away at the bottom of the ketchup bottle, trying to make it come out. Well, ketchup, of course, is a fluid, and it's a very interesting fluid. We call it a non-Newtonian fluid. Isaac Newton, one of the greatest scientists of all time, very influential, was interested in more than just gravity. He was even interested in alchemy, changing matter from one form to the other. So he became interested in, in, in fluids, and he discovered that fluids would change viscosity depending on temperature. Oil, for example, if you heat it, it flows more easily. Interestingly enough, though, there are fluids that we call non-Newtonian because they respond to factors other than just temperature. There are many interesting examples of that. Cornstarch dissolved in water makes this slurry, and very, very interesting because when you bang on it, it gets hard. So it's quite the opposite of the ketchup. It is also a non-Newtonian behavior. We call it dilettante. It means it gets hard when a force is applied. And you've probably seen videos where people scamper across pools that have been filled with the slurry of cornstarch and water. There's enough force applied to keep the body, in fact, afloat. Well, another example of a non-Newtonian fluid is the stuff that children love to play with. That, of course, is slime. It flows, of course, in a very interesting way. But if you apply a force very suddenly, like that, it breaks. Because at the point where you've applied the force, it actually becomes solid. And then of, when the force is dissipated, it will take on its original uh, properties. Now, this is really very, very interesting because if you take such a, a, a fluid, a dilettante fluid that gets hard when you exert a force on it, like this, you don't feel anything. Why not? Because the force is dissipated. Well, there are even better versions of this than what I have here. A British company called D3O has come up with a dilettante fluid which gets tremendously hard when pressure is applied. And this can be used in protective equipment, in pads for motorcyclers, for, for skateboarders, skiers, etc. Even for the elderly who fall often, it can be put into pads that they, they wear. It's very, very interesting stuff. And uh, I wish I had a sample of that to show you, but it's a bit hard to, to come by. But the idea is exactly the same as what you observed here. So now you know a little bit about fluids, more than you knew at the beginning, hopefully, and I leave you with one bit of advice. If you ever get stuck in quicksand, don't thrash around, because it is a dilettante fluid. It will get hard, and it will make it harder for you to get out. So what do you do if you're in quicksand? Just relax, and you will float to the top, and you can swim out. So now you know about Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, and about Isaac Newton's contributions, which were more than just the theory of gravity.